All right, so I know that I'm late on EDP's return to YouTube. I've been focusing so much on trying to get more and more information, hearing more people's stories revolving around Mr. Beast and the behavior that's going around in his company that I just haven't really been focusing and wanting to think about too much. And I already know most of the stuff that's been coming around with Mr. Beast. Like another former employee talked about how some of their ideas were being stolen and some of the information. But I wanted to talk about something different other than Mr. Beast for once, right? Like, like I did with Logan Paul in that video, I actually did really well. So we're here to talk about EDP, you know, and <laughs> your eat that cupcake 445. As if you don't, if you don't know, I don't know how you don't know. Go and look it up to your own discretion. But he's back. He made another YouTube channel, even though he's been banned off of the platform multiple times now. I don't understand how he keeps coming back. I don't know who told this motherfucker that he was allowed to come back, but he's back and he made a video 12 days ago uh, saying, "Here we go," just saying that he's back in frame one. This disgusting as motherfucker it just is right in the middle of the frame and just i just can't I, I can't take this guy seriously whenever he tries to keep coming back and trying to make content because it's like i, I can't even look at a fucking cupcake the same way anymore right you know that right like do you realize that you know how sometimes you go to like a cousin's birthday party and a bunch of family members show up and you see all the little kids running around because they're in the middle of a sugar high because they've been eating a bunch of savory sweet sugary snacks like cupcakes yeah the idea of looking at a cup cake either through a picture online or just at a cousin's birthday party i just can't really look at it the same anymore because of the fact that it's so synonymous with the reputation of edp 445 that i can no longer look at one at all and just think innocent sweet thoughts about it i can't look at it the same because edp has just completely tainted the image of a cupcake for me and for that i will never forgive him i just don't understand who told him that he can come back who fucking told this giant beluga whale have an ass that he can come back onto the youtube platform the fact that he continues to keep trying right like he after his first channel got banned he made another channel that got banned he went to facebook that shit got banned too he went to a whole bunch of other places like making his own website and they got taken down and I, he just keeps on trying he keeps trying to stay on the platform and I don't understand how he keeps coming back. So I also want to read a couple of comments because some of them are kind of funny. Oh yeah, I also want to point out that he made a video called OnlyFans Models Will Scam You. And he talks about how there are all these women that are making OnlyFans and they're doing this, that, and the other, and yada, yada. They're, and they're banking off of the very desperate men to get, to get the money. And to a certain extent, I actually kind of agree. I've been saying it's about OnlyFans Models for a very long time, but it's so hilarious hearing this coming from EDP of all people because of the fact that multiple fucking times he has tried to meet up with a minor to have sex with them this dude got caught with the receipts showing a picture of him taking a massive shit and then sent it to someone so yeah one of the first comments on his on one of his videos uh bro looks like a giant green m m we got edp coming back before gta 6 was the chick old than 18 oh yeah he probably is upset about all these only fans models because none of them are, are younger than 18 years old and he, he's only attracted to the, uh, the women who are younger than 18 years old and are probably still in fucking kindergarten this is ridiculous uh it's probably not going to take all too long for him to eventually get noticed by youtube and then they obviously terminate his channel again because there's just no conceivable way that he's going to still be allowed to be on the platform because he's actively violating youtube's terms of service by making this channel because once you get a video completely terminated you're not allowed to make another youtube channel which is the reason why when he tried to do this the first time after his first youtube channel got terminated that's why it ended up getting terminated again because YouTube was like, what the fuck are you doing? You're not supposed to be making another YouTube channel because you're not allowed on the YouTube platform anymore. So it's just a matter of time. It's going to happen. He's not going to be around for much longer. At least I certainly fucking hope that he's not. This disgusting, disgusting, degenerate, pedophilic motherfucker does not need to be on the platform. Definitely not saying some of the shit that he's saying because it's just, it's hilarious coming from him. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just want to talk about something else other than just the Mr. Beast stuff because it's been going on for a couple of weeks now and it's just been all on my mind. I've been talking about it a lot with my friends and our, on, our, on our Discord and yeah, just, I don't know. It was just, it's just funny to laugh at, at EDP because he deserves it. He doesn't deserve any sympathy. Who fucking cares about this guy? Anyways, that's pretty much it. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Yeah.